Hello, you too. I do apologize for being away for so long. It took me a while to get this video together only because I've been doing multiple things at once and I shouldn't be doing that. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll go over the LG Marquee. Uh, I'll go over um, some of the things that I did, some things that you're capable of doing. Um, I mean, one of the things is, did you know that you were able to hook up your LG Marquee to the PS3 and be able to view video and music? I know, and I'll, I'll go over that. Um, I'll actually also go over some things, um, again, that you can do with the LG Marquee that I'm pretty sure you aren't or thinking of uh, capable, you know, of doing. Uh, so, okay, let's get into it. We're going to start off basically on the phone. Right now, I have my phone plugged up to my computer. And this is what pops up. Let's get this a bit here. Uh, as you can see, uh, you have two options to charge only or mass storage. Now, obviously, we're going to select mass storage. Why? It's because I'm going to show you some files that I have on my phone on the SD card. Uh, and show you how to configure it because basically throughout the the whole movie slash uh, movie <laughs> the whole video I'm going to show you it's going to involve um, those files being located and organized in a certain way and I need it to be done that way just because you know, I got to show you the videos got to show you the music etc cetera, etc cetera. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is hit mass storage and then press done it's going to ask you you know, do you want to turn on your USB? Some application will stop using blah blah blah. Of course, you want to say yes and hit OK. And let's switch this over to the computer. Okay, so now that we're all connected, I'm going to go to Open Files and Folder. And you'll look, and and you'll look, uh, you see a bunch of files in there. You don't have to be too geeky. I can't believe I just said that, but anyway. You don't have to be tech savvy to figure out what's going on. Here are the files that these are the files that's located on your SD card. Now it may not look like this. Um, of course, I download a lot of apps to the phone, so of course uh, I have these folders in there. But you'll have you know folders on your SD card similar to this. Um, you want to create certain folders, and, and this is why. There's a folder label, as you can see right here, for music. A folder labeled photo for photos and I have another folder down here for video if you have a PS3 or an Xbox um, you'll know why I did that and just because if you look on the PS3 and I'll show you very shortly um, the PS3 has it just has it constructed just like that so if you create a file video uh, music photo you'll see it just like that on the uh, PS3 screen uh, right now let me see if I have anything I have got Dream House 2 on there um, I'm not gonna play the, uh, the the Dream House 2 video just because of uh, Google's I think Google's uh, rights or something like that or uh, I'm not gonna get into that but anyway what I'm gonna do is copy one of the videos that I did and then copy also one of the music um, instrumentals that I did so let's see. And here's my album, new chapter. I'm going to copy. My Doom theme. And yes, uh, while this is copying over, I'm a Doom lover. And when I found the instrumental for that, I turned it into a remix. And I'll play a little sample. Of course, you can you you can view the YouTube clip. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, so right now, there's a video. There it goes. It's copied from my from my computer to the phone itself. I'm going to back out of the video file, clicking on removable disk, whatever drive yours is going to pop up. It may not be G, maybe E or F or what have you. And then I'm going to go and select the music file. And let me see, I'm going to put, scroll down, MP3, 
put that in here. It's going to copy over. Okay. So we now have our phone right here uh, with the cord dangling ever so slightly. And as you can see right now, I have my PS3. Um, here's what I was talking about. If you look on PS3, the PS3 format is set up this way. Remember that folder that we made for music? And the one we created for video? And the one we created for photos? Uh, this is imperative because uh, it's, the, it's the easiest way for the PS3 to read any type of device it's hooked up to. Um, that's a fat, what's called a FAT32 format. Uh, so what I'm going to do, and then that, if you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about, <laughs> if you Google it, um, it'll tell you. Google's your friend, remember. Um, so right now, we have the phone. I'm going to place this here. I'm going to take my USB and plug it up inside my PS3 right now. Okay. And it recognizes the connection. Let's see if I can get the still for you. Alright, and again, we're going to select uh, mass storage. And done. It's going to say the usual. I'm going to say yes. Okay, and then we're going to pay attention to the screen. Now, while we're waiting for this uh, SD card to load, you'll see it pop up right here. Um, keep in mind, I have a scan disk up. Oh, that was fast. And there you go. There's the USB. We're going to start with the music. Scroll there. Select that, and it should pop up. Give it a second, because it's still reading, and yep, there it goes. Magnificent, that'd be me. My Doom theme. I'm going to play it real quick. Pretty cool, huh? Stop that. I'm going to move over to. If I can get my controller here. Alright, we're going to move over to the video portion. And oh, she'd kill me if I didn't play it. So basically, I prefer showing this anyway. This is straight from the phone, people. Yes, I created that instrumental. You take that, you two. <laughs> I'm not going to be this. I'm not going to look at the whole clip, but just to show you, yes. It works. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty cool, isn't it? You know, you can look up to your PS3. You can look at uh, I didn't put any in, in photos in the in the photo files, but you know, pretty much if you put it in there, you'll see the photos too. Uh, so if you have a PS3, you have an Xbox, the Wii, you, I don't think you can do that. But the PS3, and I'm pretty sure it works for the PS3 and the Xbox. So right now we're gonna go down to my car, so I can show you. The advantages of having a rooted phone A, uh, and also 411. 411 is, if you haven't, if you're not sure about Boost Mobile, it comes with the service. It's it's free. Um, Verizon and I think AT and T, they I think they charge you for that. So good job, uh, Boost Mobile. Uh, so let's head down to, down to the car and uh, we'll look at what you can do there. Okay, so we're and right now we're on the inside of my car. And again, it's not a Lexus, it's not a Mercedes Benz. I'm like the average person, just like you are. It's a 99 Grand Prix, but of course it's not. It's on the outside, okay? It's what you do on the inside of the car. Remember that. So anyway, uh, let's get down to the marquee. Here's my LG marquee. Uh, that's obvious. 
But what I did was like I changed it up a little. Um, I took the standard stereo out. And again, I'm not going to get in too much too detail with the uh, with the, the I guess the, the the stereo insert and whatever, whatever. Anyway, I have a stereo uh, that has a that's a USB cable. So it, it cannot not only can it do the auxiliary cord for sound, but it it, it can do you can read USB. Um, typically is where I would have my phone right here. And I also have a Bluetooth stereo, which is located right here. So, I'm going to turn on everything right now. Uh, okay. I'm going to turn on the Bluetooth portion of my phone. Right, first, let me take, turn off Juice Defender because... We don't need Juice Defender cutting off the service if I'm showing you something. I want to show you that the hands-free wireless uh, capability that's built in most Google Android um, or any Android phone. So I'm going to disable Juice Defender again. That's the, that's the app that's going to save you a lot of battery life. Uh, scroll over. Let's turn on. Did I hit it? I don't think I hit it. No, I hit it. Wait Your phone it. is connected. Hands-free trigger is on. Isn't that pretty cool? Alright, so... Let's put this on here. And... As you can see, the phone is on there. Okay. Blue Ant, speak to me. Say a command. Phone command. Activating your phone's inbuilt voice commands on the connected phone. Call Lauren, my wife. Call my wife on And we're not going to call my wife because she will kill me because she's working right now. So that's another pretty uh, cool feature. And again, that's the Bluetooth uh, side of the phone. The phone is very responsive. Uh, again, later on in this video, I'll show you how to, um, not to set this up because you need the... Blue Ant speaker device, uh, or some type of Blue Ant Bluetooth, some Bluetooth device uh, in your your phone. But again, that's that's one of the many uh, features that's pretty cool. Um, let me turn on the car so I can show you what I'm talking about. Oh, so you can play the music. Okay, my stereo is on right now on AM. I need to change this to USB. I want mass storage to be turned on on the phone. Yes, turn on. And it will say format read. Let me move this cord for you. Reading my format. I think, I'm not sure if I did it on time right, but right now the stereo is trying to read uh, what's on the uh, USB card. Just like the PS3, you know, you hook up your your, your cord to anything. It's got to read the, the scan, or it's got to scan the disk first. So, uh, okay. Now, let's see. In 600 feet, you will arrive pretty cool? at your destination. I want to mute that. North 12th Street. In a quarter mile, turn right onto North 12th Let's Street. Go back. Turn left onto Race Street. Turn right onto North 15th Street. Then turn left onto Race Street. Take the exit. I think what it's doing is, uh, I basically, um, it has the uh, when you when you use the uh, how should I say this when you when you're using the navigation system. And if you any, I think I have Telenav, and you, whatever address you put in, it typically it, it saves the sound uh, portion of it. So if you have if you have directions and you went to your neighbor's house, yeah, I know, bad example, but still, it'll save that information in the phone. That's why you're hearing directions straight from the phone. So let me uh, get back to this. Uh, let's see if I do this right here. I want to scan my phone. So my, I think the way my, let's see if I did, here we go. And there you go. Album title, genre, comment, folder name. There you go. I want to select folder name. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Aye, 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 I found the folder. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go into music. And there it goes, my name! Yay! Okay. So, can I play? Well, let's find out using my remote. Okay, I'm gonna turn it up. Just like on a PS3. Stop that. And what I'm going to do, if you can see this, here's my phone. Okay. I'm going to turn this around so I can show you the video portion. Now, do not try this on the road. I do not recommend doing this. I don't want to see anybody get arrested for uh, negligence of, uh, or at least you paying attention to the road because you should be paying attention to the road. I'm going to scroll down to my, uh, I'm going to show you the uh, video portion of it. And let me see here. There's an app on the Google Store that's called Play Movie, I believe. Alright, and when you first open it, I believe, it says I do not have any personal videos, which is a bunch of crap, because I do. Uh, you know what? I still have this hooked up, so I'm going to unhook this. It has to read. Uh, for those that didn't understand what just happened, because I had my phone hooked up to the USB of my stereo, it was occupying my SD card, so I did not have access to the SD card through the phone. Uh, right now, I should have access to it. Let me just make sure. And we're going to go to Play Movie again. And there you go. So let's scroll down to there's my video. Now, if you if you turn this down a little bit, there's the video. Okay, you're hearing it through here because I still have that. Sorry about that. You're hearing it through my my Bluetooth stereo. Because it's amplified through there, I'm gonna t I'm gonna turn this off temporarily, or you know what I could do? Yeah, actually, yeah, turn it off here. And goodbye. And what I'm gonna do is also, I mean, again, if you don't have that USB connection, there's always what I was, what's called the. Um, let me show you your auxiliary cord. You, you do have if you have this cord, and you have this type of connection, okay. And again, I'm going to, there you go, my auxiliary cord is going to go into here, and this won't work because I need a long enough cord. Give me one second.